Hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to be telling you what's in my camera bag, hence the title of this video. And it's actually changed quite a bit since last time I filmed this video. I care a lot less about trying to make perfect or really good content. I'm more focused on just going out and doing. In terms of lenses, I used to want to be able to have every single focal length all the way from wide angles all the way to like a 70 to 200. Whereas now, I've got my 24 to 70, which is just an all around good lens. I use it for vlogging, so that's pretty much always on my camera. If I just upgraded to is the Sony a7R Mark IV, which is awesome because now I can shoot these videos in 4K uncropped. Usually whenever I used to film my 4K videos, it just like go boom and it'd like zoom into my face because it would crop on 4K, but now it doesn't. The microphone that I use is a, what's it called? A, a Video Mic Pro Plus, and it's got a dead cut on it just to stop all that wind noise. And then in terms of lenses, I use a Sigma 35 millimeter. This is probably a lens that I bring everywhere. A lot of people say that they like the 1.8 or 2.8, or I don't even know. There's another 35 millimeter that isn't as big as this one. And people say that they like it because, you know, it's smaller and whatever, which is, it might be better, it might be good, I don't know, I've never used it, but this to me is still a small lens. I, I feel weird if my camera's got like a little pancake lens on it, it just doesn't feel right to hold and everything, so this is like a good lens for me, I like it. It takes the most sharp portraits, like that's another reason why I like bringing it out everywhere, it's just in case one of the boys, they want to get a photo for Instagram or something, or I want to do some cool street photography and get nice depth shots. It goes all the way down to f1.4. So if you like night photography, you can open up that aperture really wide and it's going to be huge and you're going to get nice sharp focus photos. Actually, you're going to get a lot of depth. Your photos are probably going to be slightly out of focus because when you try and manually focus or even automatically focus when you're shooting on 1.4, it's just, you're just not going to get anything in focus. So just accept that fact and you'll be fine. Last time I filmed this video, I would have said that I have this in my camera bag, but I honestly barely ever use my 70 to 200 anymore. Like, it used to be my go-to for street photography. Like, don't get me wrong, this is a really good lens for photography, like street photography, but ever since I got this lens here, which is the 105 millimeter, it's, look how big it is. Like, huge. But this lens is just super sharp and it goes all the way down to f1.4 as well. The sharpness on this lens, especially for street photography, I, I just, I don't know what else compares. It is a bit annoying to carry around, I'm not gonna lie, like look how dumb thick this lens is. I'm willing to sacrifice it because I literally only carry the 35, this lens and then my camera in my camera bag. So like, I'm not carrying every other lens. I used to carry a drone. Last time I filmed this video, I would carry this drone, which is just the first DJI Mavic Pro. Still a good drone, I just don't find the need for it. Like the only time I would carry it is if I was to go out and have in mind like, okay, I'm gonna go film some B-roll for some vlogs. But other than that, I don't use it. I think every photographer should carry one of these. It's a little dust puffer thing. It just helps to keep all the shit off your lens, like, and your sensor. So if you got, if you're shooting in like, you know, dusty areas or just in general, it's always good whenever you're changing a lens. You want to make sure you're holding your camera body upside down so that the screen is facing the roof so that the dust can't fall onto it that way. So you want to hold it upside down and like just squeeze up there and then that's how you clean it. And you do the same for the lens. Always hold it upside down. We should probably talk about the camera bag that I use. It's, oh, it's called a Tenba. I don't know what model it is. It cost me about 250 Australian dollars. It's worth it though. Like it looks good. It doesn't look like a shitty camera bag. It's strong. It's not going to break on you. I carry some batteries, SD cards, microfiber cloth, not just any microfiber. Like this is a good one. I don't know what brand it is. Oh yeah. Lens, lens pen, mi micro. It's not just like a thin little shitty one. You want to get a nice thick microfiber. It's gonna last long. It's just good. Get yourself a good microfiber. It's worth it. Other than that, that's pretty much all that's in my camera bag. It's probably gonna change over the next years. I don't have any wide angles. You probably noticed I just don't really shoot wide that much anymore. If you did like this video, remember to leave a like. Help me out by hitting subscribe. And as always, don't think, just do. Repetition shop and blaze. Like me, 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 she my serving up every single plate. The hottest in the season, even summer looks away. Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the...